You have been assigned a case to review. Download the replay to begin. Let's get ready, boys. Get your forensic equipment out. The reported, the reported player, Morphling, has been reported for feeding. Mm. Let's check it out. We've got four markers of feeding. The, first of all, wait, what, what is the level here in the game, by the way? It doesn't show, uh, it's anonymous. It is anonymous. It can't be that high. I don't think I've ever seen an I am Herald. I have never seen... Okay, this is normal. Witch Doctor, Anti-Mage, Safe Lane, it's fine. What's going on with Morphling and Ember being in the off lane? It's unranked? Okay. Morphling and Ember are in off lane. Wind Ranger mid, I've seen that before. <laughs> Terror Blade is here with Crystal Maiden. It's all normal, but the Morphling Ember... That's pretty weird. Let's look at the items. Four Gauntlets of Strength. Makes sense, right? Because uh, if you switch to full agility, you still want to have some strength. But he's on full strength. So he's 1500 health. That makes him super tanky. Pretty unusual build. Interesting build by him. Let's check it out. He's currently body blocking Ember. He's hitting for 16 damage. And he's doing like weird movement towards Ember. I feel like I don't know if he's feeding yet, but I do know that he's absolutely trolling. Dyer's middle tower is uh, this isn't the kind of bad movement either that newbies do. Jumping to next marker. Uh, we're supposed to believe that he died. I think they've mistimed the markers a bit. Well, let's check it out. Let's go to minutes before disaster. Uh, how many deaths does he have? Um, just two. He's not as much of a feeder as Bloodseeker. But he's not exactly very helpful, is he? What is his way to move? Uh, he actually holds down right click, which is an option you can do. And holding down right click... Um, issue six movement commands per second. Uh, he didn't skill any? Yeah, he didn't skill anything. So, it's called feeding. I'm gonna say that yes, it is feeding. Guilty for abusive behavior and griefing. Uh, cheating, hacking, scripting. I would say not guilty. He might be a brand new player. Uh... I'm gonna say that you have a responsibility in a game, in a team game, to not go full strength morphling with four gauntlets, buy nothing, choose no abilities, and hit nothing and die. Yeah, I'm gonna call him guilty. It's a script to follow the ember. Uh, is it really? Actually, I think you're right. Oh my god, you're right actually. It is a script to follow the Ember. Wow. What's this Ember done to him? Yeah, it's a bot. He's AFK and he can throw the game using the script. Do you think that he has a real account on the other side and that's how he wins games? Isn't he just centered the camera on him and holding down right click? Yes, I think so, but how do you do that? How do you center on an allied hero while also holding right click? That's not scripting. I think it is a bot, which means it's a script. Because what? how do you think bots are made? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He follows Amber. He's actually guilty on both markers. I'm glad we took another look. I thought he was not guilty of scripting, but he is guilty. It's a one hour, 100 hour bot account. Yeah, probably just to get a smurf so you can jump straight into ranked, right? That's not really cheating. It's griefing, of course. It's griefing and it's, uh, it's scripting. Off with his head. Next. I was only gonna do one, but uh, the power 
that I feel when I judge others is intoxicating. Let's go to a second case. Maybe a third if we're feeling cute. Power overwhelming. I am the law! Other he players in this match may be reviewed by other Overwatchers. Focus your attention on the hero displayed above. Wow. There's like multiple people here that did not play by the book. Slark, feeding. Okay. This is his player view. He followed the... Er, he followed the Earthshaker. Um, but his mouse cursor is is inactive. It's it's right there. I don't know why it shows Morphling Slark, but there we go. It's just a bug, replay bug. So his cursor is AFK. He followed Earthshaker, and now his cursor is elsewhere, which means I feel like what happened. Oh, he's moving a bit. I feel like this is a very busy businessman, or it's a single dad that is actually taking care of a baby and still wants to play games. And he plays those games, like the mobile games, like Auto Battler and stuff, where legit you can just hit the tick bar that says Auto Quest and it kills everything, it auto picks up the items, auto equips the best items, auto sells the items. He likes playing games like that. But he, he felt like recapturing his youth with some PC games. So he decided to play some Dota 2, just like how he used to play Dota 1 in 2006. But he doesn't really have time for it because he's got to change the dirty nappy. And I really commend for him to be a single dad. It's not easy. Uh, God knows what turn his life would have taken to get to this point. But that does not make it okay to grief in online games. So I am going to say that his... 1% attention for this game uh, is is not good enough. He is guilty of griefing or abusive behavior, even if, hopefully, he's not an abusive dad. And that's much more important, so he won't mind being banned from this game, so he can focus on what really matters in life, family. I don't know about cheating, hacking, or scripting, so I'm going to say insufficient evidence. All right. Very good. And the third and final case for the day. Let's make the game better. Let's make the community better. 10 cases later. <laughs> third case. Maybe he pick mid and ES stole his role. Don't care, still griefing. Skywrath Mage skip scripting hacking. Ah, I still remember when Dendi was coaching me once and he said the Skywrath was probably scripting and everyone on YouTube actually agreed with it. I was so clueless about the game that I wouldn't be able to see a script if it presented itself to me in the morning newspaper on Saturday in full ones and zeros. I'd be like, what is this? So I don't know if now I can recognize it better than before. Hey, I kind of feel like I'm holding hands with the scripter when I hold my cursor over his. But let's see if we can recognize the script when we see it. Because uh, this old dog is pretty fast with his abilities too. Bang, 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 bang. So let's see. Yeah, we'll watch the mouse. Huh? His cursor was not even over the person. And it's one of them zoomed out gamers that doesn't need to look. He's casting Q without clicking on them. And, and he's obviously zoomed out. He's casting Q on cooldown, even though it was gonna kill him already. He's a zoomed out player. He overcast, he's bad. He doesn't look at the action. We've seen this before, it's a script. But let's go to the next marker so we can be sure beyond a doubt. Isn't it funny that all these zoomed out script cheaters always have the screen here? It's like, let's say you're fighting over the sentry ward. This is how they're playing. They're interacting with the sentry ward like this. And you know what's funny? It's never like this. It's never like in the bottom right, bottom left. No, it's always at the top of their screen. 
like right like this like oh let me go play the game i love playing with one percent of my screen space it's so bad they don't see anything and that's because i think when you zoom out uh probably you get more of a perspective of the top of your screen because of the way that the isometric view is right because that is our depth uh, perception i mean i don't know how it looks like but yes they're gonna have bad general skills in general but also it seems like when you zoom out cheat that's the available space you have at the top of the screen so yeah it always looks like shit watching and reviewing these cases we can see he's not clicking the person he's casting kill on them without clicking them i am going to make my judgment now uh, if all of you are ready will the jury rise scripting guilty griefing or be abusive behavior guilty our work is done all right good what's the verdict how shall we punish him one more okay last one last one last one i said i'll only do three one more please Let one more one more what abusive behavior and griefing well he's griefing the enemy team by cheating and it's abusive because he's using third-party programs to improve his capabilities yo thanks for the sub baku bakawuna original redden generic supreme and kaipi bounty hunter scripting hacking well how would you how would you script hack with bounty he's so straightforward there's many markers let's check it out i guess whenever someone appears even remotely on your peripheral vision boom track whoa amazing reflexes these young kids huh <laughs> that's what i always do when a hot male walks into the room punch comes in punch comes in and he's like boing <laughs> with his cursor that is check it out one more time <laughs> twice i like how it went like this twice and it seems when someone is already tracked the wait did he even click him hold on a second when someone is already tracked it doesn't retract them i bet it has like some kind of internal cooldown it knows how long the track is going to last and it will only resummon uh a track when it runs out though technically if you were to design a cheat wouldn't you want to retrack a person as they're about to leave your vision even if it is let's say like the track is at a um, not to give them ideas or anything but like if track is 75 percent plus and they're leaving vision don't track if track is under 60 percent progress or all right under 60 percent duration and they're about to leave vision recast that could be like a good way a good way to play the game in general therefore the bot could be designed that way when they come back into it it tracks yeah oh as they're about to leave range and vision of track so let's say when they're on the final 10 percent of your range and they're also about to leave vision like if it predicts that i don't know what parameters you would need to add in order to make that happen something if track under 75 retrack if positionally I don't know. Anyway. Okay, he casts his own W. Maybe it's just a track script. He just retracted him. Wait, I want to see where it retracted him. I wonder if it retracted him exactly at 50%. Or did he do a manual retrack? Okay, he tracked him at 60% actually. Let's see if he does another retract at 60%. Oh, I jumped to the next markers. I don't want it to auto skip to the next marker. Uh, I think he didn't retract because he was dead. 
All right, let's go to the next marker. He has like really bad general game qual uh, game skills. Two thousand nine hundred gold. Shiny. He bought Aetherlands without disassembling arcane boots, and he's spending a lot of time in base. So he's not a very good player. Okay, hold on a second. Where is he? Yeah. Did he hover over? His camera movement is so bad. You see how he like goes out of control like, oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, he didn't click him when he tracked. Wait, unless, unless he clicked him before. Yeah, he clicked him before. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay. He did not click him before, actually. Did he? I guess this, you can't see anything on track until... Okay, now he tracked him. Uh, By the way, with many markers like this, it is a Valve detected script. It's not human report that has this many markers in the replay. Remove folk, there must be someone there. Wait, really? You think his camera panned to the folk because there was someone there? the uh, spirit breaker moment not this one oh that's coming out you're saying there's someone here uh, there isn't no, I think he just jerked his own camera by accident. Damage. There's no enemy showing on the minimap. Now there are. Camera movement is so bad. Huh? Hey, hold on a second. What? Okay, look. He's walking here. He looks at mid. Very strangely. Then he starts following up on an OD blink astral. He literally cannot interact with the character in the banish. He again does a massive overpan to the right side, just like he did an overpan to the left side. And his mouse cursor goes to the top right. He looks at the forest for no reason at all. Then he clicks on the minimap and hovers over the enemy fort. Then he clicked on something that wasn't himself and now his track is suddenly on Pudge? Look, his cursor goes here. Oh, I, I touched it for a sec. 
His cursor goes over the enemy uh, barracks. Which is also where Pudge is, roughly. His track is already casting, but he had not even looked at Pudge yet. We are only seeing the top right corner of his screen, probably. Yeah, probably. I think he should have used the lawyer. In his own self-defense, I have found him guilty of scripting, cheating, and hacking. And that is griefing and abusive behavior. Ability abuse, feeding kills to the enemy, dropping feeding items. Uh, yeah, he griefed the opponents. Guilty. Ancient apparition. Other players... Yeah, feeding. Okay, let's see if AA is a feeder. There's only three markers. <laughs> Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh my god. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh my god, dude. He was AA. He TP'd in lane. Can I make it any more obvious? He planted the wards and he went to die. And he grieved his teammates. And he'll never be on MTV. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I just don't think this is an optimal play. I think you could teach a monkey how to play better than this right now, right right here. Any monkey. Any monkey or ape could play better than this. So he is intentionally feeding. I wouldn't say there's any uh, sight of cheating, hacking, or scripting. Or I could say not guilty. It looks like he's fully in control of his actions, but he's definitely guilty of griefing and abusive behavior. Guilty! All right, that's it. We have improved the world. Now let's play some Archon Ranked Gaming. Woof, five out of five, didn't know it was so bad. Well, you have to realize how these cases come to be. They come through reports and auto flagging by Valve, by, by Dota. So obviously, if the auto flagging system is good, you're gonna find a high positivity rate of cases. Now, if I load up a random replay of anyone, then very likely you will not have the same cheating rate. So you can't judge here and say, hey, 100% of games is a scripter. No, of the script reported Overwatch cases that I got.